hi you guys so hopefully the lighting is decent but i am about to do a wash and go type of routine with my baby girl noelle i've recently been getting a lot of questions on instagram about how i do her wash and go and what i put in her hair i also wanted to try doing rice water and this is it right here it has been sitting here for about a week now i wanted to test out doing some rice water for the hair because i hear it's pretty good so um right now they are playing outside i already did nala's hair the other day i may or may not show you in this video so while they're playing i'm gonna prep that and uh, ultimately just show you guys how i maintain and the products that i use and that kind of thing now once she gets in here i'm probably not going to be able to like talk and do it so i'll probably end up doing a voiceover at that point i'm about to prepare the rice water i think this is going to smell bad i do i had it in this plastic thing most people put it in a glass jar i didn't have glass jar thingy and i'm tired of spending money on stuff that i don't feel like it's totally necessary but i just put something on top of it and make sure that it was sealed i don't know if that's going to make a difference i guess we'll find out so i'm actually about to open this so let's put the camera angle in the sink all right so i'm gonna put a little speed to this part but i am here trying to take the orange pills out of the container now they say they really do this just to mask some of the smell I do think that is the case, but at the same time, it, it still smells. I did read that if you put your hand in it and kind of swirl it around, kind of mush some of that rice, kind of get those, I guess, starches technically, right? Mush it around, and I guess apparently that's the good stuff. So I'm just going to transfer it to this container without putting the rice into it. Apparently, there's still going to be some rice that transfer over. If it's a little bit, it's fine, but don't take my word for it. I just seen that's what people are doing, so that's what I did. And also, some people were saying that you could add essential oils to your mix. I actually did in this video uh, and add the orange peels. Th that might be the reason that it don't smell as bad. I'm not really sure, but I don't feel like it did much. But I wouldn't want to risk it because the type of smell that it has is really kind of weird so i wouldn't want to test it out without trying to put something but just know that it's still gonna smell spoiled but not like regular spoil if that makes sense girl let me get off this part so in the next clip you will see me transferring the access water into the funnel i am trying to get david to be my assistant he's a little off and a little awkward sometimes but that's okay that's my baby daddy now if you are new here this is the star of the show this is my little girl noel no ellie ellie she just turned two years old and i hear i'm just showing you guys what her hair looks like in its natural state her hair at this point probably have not been washed in two or three weeks i never ever ever tried to go that long washing her hair but between doing her sister's hair it just takes a long time and here she just really wants to say hello to everyone that was watching today. It's so weird that she's starting to talk. Oh, I love her little chunky cheeks. Now the very first thing I'm going to do is add water. People, if you have any kind of coil to your hair, please make sure you are adding water. Water is very much important. Before I do anything with a girl's hair, I always add water and rake that through the hair even comb it a little bit just get the hair to tangle and then i add product to it and then i'm gonna go ahead and add the rice water to it doing the same thing massaging it to the scalp combing it through i feel like if i don't do this uh the hair doesn't take to anything that well Now here is my baby girl Nala who just turned three years old. I'm just showing you her hair. She is not a camera person so she's running away. My braids are crooked, yes. Let's not talk about it. Now this stuff right here is my holy grill. Now they don't really sell it a lot in stores so I do get mines on Amazon. This is a must have for me for their hair to become very soft. Kara's Daughter Almond Milk specifically restoring conditioner. This is the only one that I use even on my hair.
Now this paintbrush I am using, I feel like it's another must have when it comes to washing your kids hair. These things are not created equal, it's like a divin brush I believe they call it. I don't know what the term is but I had ended up losing mine one time and went back to TJ Maxx to go buy another one thinking it was the same as this one and it wasn't. So what I would suggest is buying like two or three of them, testing them out, they're about $3.99 a piece and see which one works best for your kid's hair. Preferably a short stem sturdy that's not gonna pull against your kid's hair. But I feel like this brush is good for working the product like conditioner into the hair. As you can see here, I'm working the oil into her hair as well as her scalp. If you don't take anything else from this video, I want you to take in the concept of working all your products through the hair, including water. And it takes some kind of detangler, whether it is a wide to comb or like this pink detangler brush, work it into the hair and it helps moisturize the strands thoroughly. And here's a pro tip. If you are using a comb or detangler that keeps snagging on the hair as you are trying to detangle it, then that comb or brush is probably not for you and it's time to try something different. As you can see, I am extremely generous with the products when it comes to my baby's head. It may look like I'm doing too much, but it all serves a purpose in moisturizing and softening the hair. And now I'm going to go ahead and let this product sit in for five to seven minutes, then go ahead and wash it out. And then I believe we should be done. Say hello. Hi. How are you? Great. Good. I love you. I love you. <laughs> Can I get a high five? Yes. Bye -bye. Now we're on to the most annoyingly tedious part of this whole process, and that is styling her hair. I do style her hair wet. It seems to work better the next day when I style her hair like this immediately after. I do the same thing with my other daughter's hair, but I do blow dry her hair. If y'all interested in seeing how I do her hair since her hair texture is different from Noelle's, please comment down below and I can do that video as well. Now here I am just basically showing you a concoction of multiple hair products that I have put together in a container and then that's what I'm putting on our hair. Now, I may sound like a broken record, but I just want to be clear. I know I'm consistently adding product, but a lot of these products that I'm adding to her hair is not heavy. The aloe juice, the water, the oil, all this stuff is not heavy on her hair. As far as the concoction go that I made, I only really put that on the ends of her hair and on her scalp. So when I'm combing it through, it kind of distributes evenly without being too heavy. And a lot of times I don't add it to every section. I just kind of fill out the hair and add moisture as needed.
and all right we are finally done and this is the finished product i love this hairstyle but i really do appreciate you guys watching this video and we'll see you guys in the next one